Welcome to the 2013 Calaveras County Fair and Jumping Frog Jubilee. My name is Bob Trincaro and I'm the president of the 39th DAA board. That's the fair board that oversees this. We got a lot of folks back there that are obviously doing their thing. Uh, but on behalf of that board, it's my privilege to be able to welcome you to this this evening. There's a lot going on. And there are a couple of things that I would like to do right off the bat. The very first one is to identify and to thank the major sponsors without whom we couldn't make this possible. These are people and organizations that give us the kind of funding that allows us to do this fair in a way that makes it enjoyable for all of you. So, I'd like to recognize Jackson Rent, Mark Twain Medical Center, Black Oak Casino, Gateway Press, Winter Creek Foundation, Sam L. Higgins Ranch. Thank you, major sponsors. Thank you very much. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce for the invocation, Shannon Tower. Okay, would you all please bow your heads with me as we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, I'd like to thank you for this beautiful weather that you've given us, and thank you for clearing up the rain, because that would have been a little bit different for us. I'd like to thank you for bringing us all together and showing us that this community really can do anything through the God who gives us strength. Thank you for showing us how much we all love each other, and thank you for bringing us all together in a really beautiful area, and thank you for all the fair staff that's worked extremely hard to put on a really good fair for us, and I pray for safety for the rest of our fair. Thank you. Your heavenly name we pray, amen. Very nice, Shannon, thank you. Okay, before we uh, move on, there is something that I should do, but I'd like to introduce the other members of the fair board who are here tonight. Uh, I'm gonna start on stage left. Gay Callen. Taliba Al-Rafiq. Evan Garamendi. Kathy Campbell. No, she's popular. Steve Wooster. Darren Mills. You've already been introduced to Shannon. I have one more thing to do. I want to introduce you to Lori Giannini, who most of you know. Lori's our chief executive officer, and frankly, none of this would happen except for the 20 hours a day that she's willing to put in for this fair. So please give Lori, Lori an extra round of applause. Okay, uh, at this point, the Calaveras High School band is going to uh, play the national anthem. Please remove your hats and could you stand? Choir. They forgot their instruments, so it's a choir.
Thank you very much. It's beautiful. Each year we initiate the fair, or we begin the fair, with a dedication to a family that uh, has served the valley and the county well and has also served this fair well. And so I have a proclamation that I would like to read. He's here. I'd like the Tower family to come forward, not yet. So there's a proclamation, and I'll read the proclamation. Whereas the Howard and Ellen Tower and family has served the Calaveras County Fair and Jumping Frog Jubilee for multiple generations. Whereas the Howard and Ellen Tower and family has contributed to the success of the Calaveras County Fair Junior Livestock Auction. Whereas through their contributions and support, many young men and women have continued to pursue a career in agriculture. Whereas the Calaveras County Fair and Jumping Frog Jubilee is a county celebration that dates back to 1880 and is one of the oldest continuous annual events in the state of California. Now therefore we, the 39th District Agricultural Association Board of Directors, hereby proclaim on this day, May 16th, 2013, that the Calaveras County Fair and Jumping Frog Jubilee is dedicated to the Howard and Ellen Tower family. presented to the Howard and Ellen Tower family in honor of your decades of support for the Calaveras County Fair, the Junior Livestock Auction, and your support for youth agricultural education. Congratulations, May 16th, 2013. Frank Vigilo and Assemblyman, as well as Tom Berryhill, Senator, State of California. Congratulations. We'd just like to really quickly say thank you on behalf of me and my family. We really couldn't do it without all of you and the amazing fair staff that we've been blessed with. I'd also like to say on behalf of me and my dad, as we were talking earlier, that we were spent all day working in the hog barn and exhibiting hogs and working with all the youth. And I can promise you that this fair is in extremely good hands after working with all of these youth. They're extremely talented and were raised very well, and I'd like to thank all of you for taking care of that. Thank you all. Yeah. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, the Tower family. We're going to start the fair by cutting that ribbon. All right. Now it's my, uh, my privilege to invite Marty Hughes to the podium for a presentation of the Quilts of Honor. Good evening. I'm Marty Hughes and myself and Susie Durham are the manager of the Becky Thatcher building. If you don't know where that's at, we're right over there across from the goat pen. We have two special events happening in our building this year we would like to make you aware of. First of all, and it pains me to say this word, but for all you bullfrogs in the audience, the Independence Hall Quilters of Arnold 
are set up in our building again this year displaying their heritage quilt that they sell raffle tickets for. Been doing this for years and the proceeds go to for scholarships for Bret Hart seniors. Also up for raffle is an American Girl doll with eight complete outfits. Also back with us again this year is the Quilts of Honor from Va the Guild from Valley Springs. They missed last year because their director, Gail Belmont, was one of 150 invited to Arlington Cemetery to, for the anniversary of the song Taps, and they played it there. Gail established the Guild in 2005. She has been voted San Joaquin County's Woman Veteran of the Year. And this Guild has already given out over 2,000 quilts. They are here for all four days of the fair to fundraise for their trip to the National Marine Museum in Quantico, Virginia, later this year, where they will give out over 300 more quilts. And they will also place a wreath on the tomb of the unknown soldier. Their quilts have been given out all over the U.S., but specifically in places like Walter Reed Hospital, Camp Lejeune. They have also given to two living presidents. They have been honored at the White House for Champion of Change for Vietnam veterans. One of their quilts is on display in the 9-11 area of the Pentagon. Most of their recipients are Purple Heart or uh, people who, men who have, have purple hearts or sent on multiple deployments from any war. Also to foreign warriors such as our own Gavin Burnham of Calaveras County. As of lately, they gave out quilts to the fallen and injured army guard at the incident at the IHOP restaurant in Garnerville, Nevada. A few years ago, the last remaining Navajo wind talkers of World War II were also part of their recipients. Also the 442nd Japanese unit who fought in the armed forces while their families were interned. Also, they give quilts to all women veterans. Combat-related PTSD and traumatic brain injuries are also part of their program. So please be sure to stop by our building during your fair. They have quilt blocks for you to sign, which will be incorporated into further quilts for veterans. Also, they are selling homemade olive oil and taffy and some really neat t-shirts. Now it's my honor to introduce the amazing Gail Belmont and her assistant, Debbie, who have four special quilts to give out to four unsuspecting veterans in our audience. Before we start, I would like every veteran to please stand. Is there any veterans out there? Can you please stand? I, I would like to thank you for your service to our country. It's why we're free today. Thank you very much. Tonight we're gonna honor four individuals. Some may know, some may not. This is part of the reason why we do it is we like to thank those that have basically never been thanked. And we like to honor those that go out and do special things in the community. And these, these gentlemen have all done that. So I would like these gentlemen to come forward. Tony Tyrell, Jay Quick, Bob Nearney, and Bob Davis. Can you please come to the stage? Each one of these quilts are handmade. Each one has a special label on the back. Each one is numbered and registered. Sometimes eight hands touches one quilt before it goes out the door.
My first recipient is Tony Tyrell. Tony has worked 17 years for the Veterans Memorial and tirelessly at the Senior Center. It's my honor to award you this quilt of honor for your service and sacrifice to our country. Our next recipient could not be here tonight. His name is Jay Quick. Some may know, some of you may know him. He's very, he's done a lot in the community for Rotary, and he is in the hospital because he's had a stroke. He actually was in World War One, World War Two, Korea, and Vietnam. And there's not many men like that. And so, accepting in his honor is Carol Tyrell. Our next recipient is Bob Nethery, and I got it right. And Bob is a Korean war vet, and he's awful handsome for his age, and this is for his service and sacrifice to his country. Our last one is Bob Davis, and he probably really mad at me for doing this. But Bob goes out and he takes veterans that need care and he drives them to the hospital and he goes and he sees older vets that are in hospitals already. That takes a very special person to do that. It's my honor, he's a US Navy. So Bob, this is for your service and sacrifice to your country. They're going to show you what they look like. Thank you everybody for your time and your patience. God bless America. Thank you, Gail. Okay, we've got the Friends of the Fair coming up here to do something that we started as a tradition several years ago, and that's to hand out some cash. So, if you happen to have bought a pot of gold ticket or series of tickets, we start drawing those each night about this time before the main event of the evening, which of course tonight is the Calaveras pageant. And the winner tonight will receive $1,000 in cash. So if you've got your tickets, please get them out. And the drawing's going to happen in just a moment. Furman, you want to say a few words? Herman Brown, the president of the board of the caliber of the Friends of the Fair. That's right, Bob, that's right. On behalf of Friends of the Fair, we certainly wish you a very successful fair and a have a have a, a great, great time here. The grounds look great thanks to our field crews and maintenance people and uh, our CEO who's done a great job preparing a great fair for you. Tonight we have uh, four of our board members for Friends of the Fair. We have Jeff Johnson. Bill Whitmer, Bonnie Tuscornia, and Rob Miller. <laughs> Rob Miller gets all the attention, he always does. Also tonight, uh, uh, as uh, Bob Tuncaro told you about our raffle, we're giving away $1,000 tonight, $1,000 cash tomorrow night, 1000 on Saturday night, and the big one is $10,000 on Saturday, a uh, Sunday. Tonight, uh, to handle the drawing, we're going to turn it over to Rob Miller, who will do the introductions of our Lucky, lovely ladies. 
Welcome everybody. Uh, we're very excited about this uh, raffle drawing tonight. I'd like to present and congratulate the junior Miss Calaveras and her court, Bailey Van Zandt, Summer Hamari, and Grace Garcia. And now we need to spin the wheel and we're going to have Bailey draw our first thousand dollar winner. Okay. Okay, and our first winner is Dr. Z Cooper, as written on here. Dr. Cooper, if you're in the audience, you just won a thousand dollars cash money. Is he here? You see him? Anybody know he's here? All right, we're going to give this phone number a call, and we're going to give Dr. Cooper one hour to present his coupon to redeem it for $1,000 cash money. And also in the audience tonight, we have Tony Tyrell. He was a winner two years ago of $10,000. Tony? Wave your hand there. There's a $10,000 winner right there. Last year we had Alice Aroa. She was here earlier. She may be in the stand. Are you there? Stand up, wave your hand. Everybody likes to see a winner. And before that, it was Gary Kuntz, our sheriff. So you know this is a legitimate, this is a legitimate raffle. And you know, uh, Mr. Cooper, Dr. Cooper won tonight. I happen to sell him that ticket, by the way, so I'm a, a good person to buy from. But uh, this ticket goes back into the hopper. Even if he wins tonight, it goes in. He gets another chance tomorrow, another chance the next day, and the 10000 on Sunday. One two nine is our winning number. Right behind the arena. He's on his way. A thousand dollar winner. Maybe you can be a thousand tomorrow. Good luck, everyone. Thanks, Furman. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, friends of the fair. Okay. Now, I know most of you came for this, but there's something else going on, too, tonight. And so we're going to get to it now that we've gotten all of our formalities and preliminaries out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from the Angels Murphy's Rotary Club your host.